How's it going everyone? This is Tom of RedmondPie.com. iOS 7 Beta 5 was literally just released by Apple, so I'm going to be going over the new features, new additions in this video. It's probably going to be quite short because we're nearing the end of the beta cycle now, so let's just jump straight in. First up, if we just jump into the settings here, you'll see this Twitter icon uh, to the left of the word Twitter just here, and that is a system-wide change. Uh, now, whenever Twitter is referred to in the OS, it will be in that icon. So if we just head out back onto the main settings panel, you will see the new Twitter icon there as well. And whilst we're talking about the icons in the settings panel, they've all been totally uh, redone. So now they don't have kind of separate icons or anything like that. Uh, they have now this style, the kind of consistent style with the normal uh, springboard icons. Uh, so that's, you know, it's a nice change and it just adds a bit of consistency. Uh, and this kind of thing is going to be the changes that you'll see in iOS 7 beta 5. Banner notifications now have a pull down bar. This is something I've really been looking forward to. Uh, and it finally comes in beta 5. If you get a notification, you can now pull down just like that. And you see the actual, uh, you can pull down your notification center. So very, very useful uh, and uh, definitely a good feature in iOS 7 beta 5. Once again, stability and uh, reliability has been improved with iOS 7 beta 5. So the animations and everything like that are all more up to scratch. You can also disable a control center now on your lock screen. So if I just go ahead and disable it here, head out onto my lock screen of my device uh, and try to invoke uh, control center it won't work and uh, but I can however access notification center because I haven't turned that off uh, You can also disable it in with within apps I believe the lock screen was already there, but the apps is now a new feature So the same principle applies now the power off button has been uh, Drastically redesigned and I'm really a big fan of this now actually I wasn't really doing it before but if we just uh, go ahead and try to power off my iPod touch here You can see that uh, you get a new interface and you can slide across and it actually dims and it just looks better than it did before and you kind of get the slide over. And then it also goes white or starts to go a little pink um, when you're about to turn it off fully. So uh, that's a nice redesign there. There's quite a lot of compatibility fixes, things like Skype are now compatible, there's also been blur changes, like blurs and gradients have been very slightly altered in beta 5. A lot of very small additions, so to be perfectly honest, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you are interested in the full list of kind of smaller changes, I will link a post on RedmondPie.com, as always, where I've gone over those down below. I've covered the main changes off, and if you have found it useful, I'd very much appreciate it if you give this video a like. Follow Redmond Pie and all of the social links, those are down below as well, and we will catch you next time.